Not much change this week, and I think rightfully so. So 10 to 6 here. We'll keep Zach Moss at 10. I know he lost, but who are we going to put in there? Derek King also lost. So it's maybe we just put a big old question mark next time. Mackenzie Milton had a good game, but he's not going to win the Heisman Trophy. Maybe he gets an invite if they keep winning. Karan Higdon, look, Michigan's a top five team. They'll have somebody in the mix there. Higdon is the guy right now. He's up to 963 on the ground this season. Travis Etienne, almost at 1,000. He was stupid good against Louisville, by the way. He had eight carries for 153 yards and one score. Shout out Etienne. Gardner Minshew, you know, maybe he ends up being a top five guy at the end of the year. He's played really well this year. 3,500 yards through the air, 27 TDs. He's in the mix for number five, but for now, we've got Ian Book. Look, here's the reality. Winning matters in college football. Notre Dame is undefeated. If Notre Dame loses, we'll swap Book and Minshew. But for now, Book checks in there at number five. Has played great this year, since taking over as, as the starting quarterback, all right? 74.5% completion percentage. Approaching 2,000 yards in limited time. 15 touchdowns and four picks. Also has 218 on the ground. By the way, against Northwestern, he was really good. 343 yards to the air, 56 on the ground, and three total touchdowns. So Book, I know he's not going to win. Maybe Minshew should be number five, but Book, leading the undefeated Notre Dame Fighting Irish, deserves to be top five. One of our only changes this week is Dwayne Haskins checks in now at number four. Now, Haskins wasn't that great against Nebraska. And the past couple weeks, the flaws in his game have appeared. Now, he's still got great upside, still making a bunch of plays, but he looks now like a little bit more like a first-year starter. 69.7% completions, 3,000 yards, 32 touchdowns still, but six interceptions. But we know this about the Heisman. How a team actually plays matters, and right now, Ohio State doesn't look all that good. That negatively impacts Dwayne Haskins. That's why he's there at number four. Taking his spot at number three is Will Greer. And shout out Will Greer for a great game against Texas. He is completing almost 70% of his passes so far this year. Not as many yards or TDs as Dwayne Haskins, but the narrative around Greer is different. He's coming, off, uh, he's coming off high games right now. He had a great game against Texas. He was stupid good against Texas. I thought that was one of the better games I've seen Will Greer play against Texas, even though it's still kind of a Will Greer game overall. But he's at number three right now. As long as Western Union does not collapse down the stretch, I think he'll get himself an invite. No, by the way, he could jump to number two if West Virginia can take down Oklahoma because Kyler Murray is there right now at the number two spot. He's looked stupid good. Now, I know that having Lincoln Riley makes things easier on him, but completing 70.6% of his passes, approaching 2,700 yards, 31 TDs and five interceptions. That's right through the air, but he's also been great on the ground. On only 82 carries, almost up 600 yards, seven touchdowns this year. Kyler Murray, for me, is the obvious number two guy. Yes, he had two bad picks against Texas Tech early on in that game, but bounced back. The rest of the game was pretty much flawless. 100 yards two, plus a TD. Kyler Murray is one of my favorite players to watch the past decade of college football. He is just so electric and dynamic. But number one, guys, look, it's a no-brainer. And frankly, maybe we should, maybe we should retire this segment because Tua's got this. He actually made a mistake finally. He got picked off against LSU the first time all year, and he's still 27 to 1 TD to interception ratio. That's absurd. Before it was technically infinity. 68% completion percentage against SEC defense, even though it's not the same caliber of elite defenses, but they're better than the Big 12 defenses. He's been great this year. He's basically been perfect. And even when it ends up being a mistake, LSU almost takes the safety on, on that drive. 25 of 42, 295, and he finally played, folks, in the fourth quarter against LSU. So shout out to uh, he has been unreal this year. I don't see anyone else taking the trophy unless, of course, Bama struggles on the stretch and or Tua gets hurt. All right, so folks, to recap my top 10, Zach Moss there, Mackenzie Milton, Karan Higdon, 
Travis Etienne and Gardner Minshew. Frankly, nine through 10, special 10 I'm iffy about. Eight through six have a chance to get an invite. Maybe, maybe Milton does as well. But your top five, I feel pretty good about. Ian Book, Dwayne Haskins, and then your clear cut in my eyes, top three, Will Greer, Kyler Murray, and Tua, who has been absolutely fantastic. So folks, who do you have winning the Heisman Trophy this year? Let me know in the comments section. I hate saying that because it's, it's just obvious. It's, it's Tua. He is going to win the Heisman Trophy this season. He has been unstoppable for Alabama this season.